What's up, boyos? Welcome to a rather awesome unboxing video that we're putting together here. Um, I just spent $600 on Evic, and it came in this tiny fucking box. But you know, they, they should really have like more pomp and circumstance. I was gonna say, like yeah. with with $600, you should open the box and confetti should pop out. Why isn't the cardboard gold? I mean, they make me call and confirm and be like, yes, I am an adult spending this much money on plastic. <laughs> Please and thank you, because today we have a... Full plate carrier and pouch setup. I'm sure my plate carrier day. alone fit in that box. I know, there's a barrel in here for my LMG too. And it's supposed to be 506 millimeters. And I have no <laughs> reference size for that. Uh, let me put it this way, uh, your dick is like 10 millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Kill confirmed. Oh, wow. Hilarious. Walked into that one. Watch your beer. like uh, 50 inch dicks. <laughs> <laughs> now here we go. This, uh, this bad boy is uh, exactly 50 Andrew Dicks long. <laughs> right here. Prometheus uh, barrel here. That is about 50 uh, Andrew Dicks long. Uh, cool. It's a tight one. Uh, yes. And yeah, if for some reason it is too long, I can set you up with that. Is it specifically for your gun though? Like, did yes. you know the size yes. you needed? I, mean, I looked it up. Thank you, Evic, for putting your barrel lengths for your guns on their own page. Anyway, um, they truly are a reason. Sorry. They're pretty cool. They've only screwed me over once. They didn't buy screwed me over. No, like place. literally I purchased through them for the easy convenience and their their yeah. mobile browsing and shopping compared mm. to Airsoft Megastore, Airsoft GI, which they have competitive pricing, but there's always a coupon available. Oh, I was oh, the just gonna mention the coupons for Evic. Ah, oh, the coupons! Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is the leg drop. Nice mesh, breathable. It looks like what I used to wear on my back as a kid in the pool. That to give you a float. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll show them one around here. This looks like a plate carrier. Definitely. This is a, an NC Star. Fancy. Drink to Kaja. Not a plant. Star, I believe, is in here. Hey, Frank. Man, you are right. Plate carriers do just swallow Tom up. This is a little Tom. Tom's a little man. Well, will do. Yeah, well, all that. that fits you better than yours. Well, and also, I like yours because it's way more adjustable, has the built-in sides. You now I had to make my custom sides and do all the other crap, and mine's from some company in Vegas. Very nice, very nice. Nice little soft shoulders. And, and Most important part, toes. Nice little... They didn't rip off, so... That would have been kind of sad. <laughs> that would have been a great review, though. It, it did its job. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty so, weird. Well, I like it. What is that? Oh, this is my battle oh, belt. Oh shit, your you battle know, belt. I took all the time to do that. You probably it's got quick release here. I could have just done that and that would have been way fucking easier. Should have, could have, would have, huh? Fuck, you're right. This is the Gen 2 Condor battle belt. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so, what is this? Basically, create an extension for your plate carrier. So you put a belt well. inside of it. Okay. And you do some of this. Oh. And it goes on top of your belt. Yeah. So your belt holds up your pants, you and then this attaches to the belt. Lower. Yes. Oh. Oh. So that is a battle belt. What is a combat belt? Just a uh, just the belt that goes into the battle belt. Yeah. Uh, here you go. All right. So that's the exterior battle belt, and then this is your interior BDU belt. Only thing in this box that's not black. <laughs> Besides uh, my shenanigans. Hey, it's yep. a belt. So you gotta cinch it up, hold it there, and then push that through there, and uh, the belt. The belt goes, attaches itself to that. It should be the Hey, how much did this cost? Nine bucks. I am getting one of these. Yeah. Hold that shit, dude. Uh, I mean, it's got pretty far. I like that. I just wanna scream. You know, they kind of like protected cover for the lens, though. <laughs> That's what you want. You bought a protected cover. I did. It didn't come with it, though. You got the. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> 
So it is definitely a, a cog knockoff. It oh. doesn't even have the five bar. You know what? It's got some form of zoom. It's the card in the five I got a malice clip for all five people that know what that is. That looks like the things that go like inside of like kids' helmets to make them fit their head better. Yeah, so, okay, so you got, remember when we were watching Predator the other day? And I was like, I yeah. don't remember much of that night. <laughs> Predator drinking game, Torque Norch. Just check that out. Um, so, it, in the movie Predator, they all run Alice gear, hmm. which is your Vietnam era to Desert Storm era gear. Then in Predators, they were Molly gear, which is your post Desert Storm to nowadays gear. That's, that's where you get the, the, the little loops and shit. Like this, this is Molly. Uh, so then uh, Malice clip can attach Alice gear to Molly. Um, I, I got these to have because I run my Alice gear setup. So attach shit. Uh, here we got a. Probably he's scoping away. <laughs> he is in love with that scope. Uh, Also, Condor brand. Is it there's any other brand? There are some other brands. So, I do like how that's got. I was gonna say, so I immediately noticed that it's got options for the ceiling. It's got a button and it's got a Velcro. What's the fucking M4 Dude, and the chair is padding. Feel that padding with a separator and a divider. Oh, it's got an actual divider? Uh, like a well, if you'd like to also. I would like to sing my fingers in your hole. No, 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 no. It could fit way more than two AK bags. I'm gonna probably cut one of the dividers out to fit an Odin. Oh, by the way, Shot Show uh, said uh, it's for AK bags. Said the new Odin, they're coming out a new Odin with changeable bottoms. You don't have to buy the 3D printer one straight from Odin that will have an AK ready one to go. Right. They actually have adapters now for the top that they were experimenting with, like when you could screw on a two liter bottle. Oh yeah, I saw that. And like all the other stuff. All right, so why Did is they the front? Not yet. I was trying to look it up. Why is the front and, uh, like thinner than like there's more space in the back pocket than there is in the front portion? So you can do this. Probably to do a Kydex insert. Yeah, you can do this. Do okay. Do, yeah. Oh, is that what that's for? I don't know. That's what I did for. That, that's what we're gonna say it's for. I like that. Honestly, yeah, you're right. So you can put it in the card there, or you could smoke grenade there. Oh, this is my dump nut. Oh. So this is the expandable dump pouch. And it is predictably small. Uh, this is about, I would say, half the size of my other one. That's really small. Uh, but it's expandable. It's you'll notice that it's pleated, so that as you shove more bags in, it grows. Oh shit! I get what you're saying. So, oh, okay. All right. I get that. It is. It's not quite black. I can get there. Well, I'm okay with that. Like if it's off black, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Dog's dying. Oh. My dog is dying. It is. Oh, this is the radio pack. And it made five, six feet up. So I'm thinking, oh, wait. That's a lot smaller. It is. You but this should be the perfect. No, 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 it's not. But this should be like the perfect size for a bed. I guess it would. No. Man, if only it was tan. We run black gear, bro. We're all about that black and pink. I do like my black on tan. It's pretty nice. I like how it's got a sniper in here, so you can get extra tight. Yeah. It's pretty good. Should be the perfect size for a Bale Fang Sans uh, radio, or not radio, sorry, Sans battery upgrade. Oh, it's got the preload cup to pull inside here. I don't have to have my looking up like a phaser. Great pouch. Yeah, which, speaking of which. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, really. It's only got one on the back, though, versus mm -hmm. two on your standard radio pack. That is a great pack. I, I can see in there. I can fit a grenade in there. You can definitely fit a grenade. In the Condor grenade pouch. I am Ooh. getting me some of those. Mm. I'm a fan. Look okay. at how well they fit. I just do a giant bag. This in fact, I should use this as my grenade pouch. Tom, the <laughs> grenadier. Right, uh, here we've got another grenade pouch. There is a. Oh, this is my one point sling. 
Ooh, is this that? This snake should be snake skin. One point snake. I like that. Okay, so you know you'll see people. People that are very pro or very anti one point sling. I fall into the pro one point sling. It's very polarizing. It really is though. Uh, when it comes to, to rifles, I'll bet that one point sling. Um, however, when it comes to my LMG, I'll bet that two point sling. It does have that quick release snap on it too. Yeah, you want you want to have a buckle here? This might be so easy. Oh. So then, easy. And then uh, and then you uh, want to make sure that it's got metal and not plastic here, which this does. This is made by Matrix. Um, Fifteen dollars well spent. How well is that bungee? Uh, considering that it's going to be holding my AK, which is ten pounds, it's a pretty good strength on the bungee usually. It's about six Andrew dicks. <laughs> get me an official one point. Yeah, I need to get me one of these. Um, let's eat dessert real quick. Hmm. You sure you don't want to save that for last? Replica, Colt licensed, M1911. Now this box is way by the way. Here we go, before you start pulling things out. Ooh, oh, that, that is heavy. This box is way, and that makes me happy. Oh, oh it looks oh, beautiful. It's mine. This is like one of the first things you want when we got my airsoft. This, I, I've had a hard on for the M1911 for so fucking long. <sighs> does it feel right, Kenny? It really does. Looking down the barrel of a hot man of 45. It only hurts when I land. <laughs> so, is that what I'm doing? Hmm? Yeah. Who <clears throat> knows? And then you get, and your safety won't go up unless you actually have the camera back. But it's ever soft, so. Amy want to carry my 45, but I keep it fucking down on the chamber and. Now, here we have the Matrix hard Ooh. shell holster. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Now, Slide right in there, Kenny. The concern is, though, is that we have four attachment options. Mm -hmm. But. It doesn't come with set attachment options. Now, do you remember the uh, alphabet soup of M's? Mm -hmm. That's the Molly attachment for the Matrix Hard Shell holster. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so. Quick release. Oh! 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 Matrix paddle holster. This is the Molly connector. Uh, this actually takes uh, a small minute to attack. So we'll come back to this. The question. Did you trust it? You want to try it out? Okay. The question. <laughs> I trust it. Trust it? Okay, good. The question with that gun mm -hmm. is it going to sound like a pistol going off? A little bit. Well, it's, not, it's not going to be as loud as a real gun. That, that would that'd be like gut wrenching. Yeah. But this, from what I understand, the blowback on that baby, pretty hot. Is that? It's a Shimaga. Now Tom has, Tom has the like quintessential Shimaga. Oh, that was the, nicer. The tan and well, yours is like, like beat the hell. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mine's from Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have the Mocha Black version. Mm, mocha. Uh, Shimaga. Uh, Oh, that! Oh God, this is like mothballs. Yeah, um, yeah, I got myself a, a tactical scarf. Hmm. You know, like all the cool kids. You look like you're ready to curl up with a nice cup of tea. Yeah, tactical scarf. You gotta yeah. do like the uh, Boba Fett thing where it kind of hangs off your shoulder. Is this single stack or double stack? I believe it's single. Uh, I do not like loading a double stack mag. That's a pain in the ass. You gotta look at it and do a little shaking. A little shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Is that an additional mag for that gun? Right. Yeah, so that's an additional magazine. Oh, here comes an extra Allen key. We're gonna have to make this part of your kit. I don't know what this is. I, I don't either. Why don't you tell Because it's made in China. Is this the guard for your scope? Oh, you're probably correct. Hey! It is. Hey, it's the guard for the scope. So, uh... That comes with two? No, a replacement shield. Ah. Uh, Drafting first on China. 
Okay. Well, well you know what cloudy. I don't like? You know yeah. what I say? What I immediately don't like is how cloudy this thing is. Uh, rubber it. Bag. it has the thing that comes off, right? Yes, it does. Oh, uh, yeah. I there, it's plexiglass, right? Yeah, I got one started. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm just, I'm just an idiot, but that's all. So I'll keep that one. If I had nails. What else is in that box? Ah, it's packing. Oh, oh my god. When you get a pistol, it's customary to eat these nothing. Uh, when you get a pistol, it's customary. <laughs> it's customary to get pistol pouch. Here are pistol magazine pouches. So I got a tri stack. Condor Condor now makes a two stack, but it was only available for pre-order when I got it. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just get a three stack. Uh, I was gonna put. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, Actual magazine, speed loader, multi tool. Mm. Like there you go. Um, you got, on your got another malice clip, two of those bad boys. Got myself a speed loader. Did and you calculate how many malice clips you're gonna need? Uh, I don't actually like need any. Oh, uh, this is a malice clip? Not an Alice clip? No, I said Mal. Oh. oh, I think it's Alice. No, 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 I have, I have a bunch of Alice clips. So when you say Alice gear, is um, are you saying Alice or Malice? It's Alice gear, and then you have Alice clips. But uh, to get Molly to Alice, you have to have to have Malice. You sound like you're on a drug ring. Yeah, perfect size. Molly. All right. Well, yeah. There I'll you go. Explorer. Look at that. It probably would have been easier to take off had I actually removed the thing. Right, you cool. still got bits of plastic in there. But well, so the clarity of that. cool is it folds down, mm -hmm. and then it just folds it back up. Yeah. Oh, we could just paint a logo on that, and that'll be my new uh, red dot. <laughs> just put like a... <laughs> yeah, a little... Yeah, so. Dude, it works without batteries, bro. I'm gonna sell these. <laughs> like, yeah. Works without batteries. Yeah, I got it. Look how good my red dot is. Patent like, pending. Jesus Christ. Can you, you imagine trying to center a dot on that, though? Oh, yeah, I don't... like. Oh, it oh, stinks. <laughs> Please watch this before you wear it. You might get some disease from it. Oh, you gotta get the... There's no disease I don't already have. So, all in all, though, the only other thing that I got that we didn't get a show was uh, I got some railings. Hmm. Um, what do you do with railings? What's that? What do you do with railings? It's going on the sock. Oh, okay. So that one is cool. Oh, okay. Uh, the only problem that I have is that it's not going to be long enough to put this in the scope. Oh. But you know, this was this was seven dollars, and the stuff in seven more dollars can't fix. Ah, that makes sense. Oh, the one with the the rail. I it. don't want the rail. Gonna put the scope right here. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have, they sell uh, like ACOGs that they pull down, like to the side? Uh, so th that's not ACOG though. Oh, what is it? Uh, so that would just be like a red dot. No, I kind of want like a modular scope system where I can have a red dot. Yeah, you can do that. And then like fold up into a, a three time or something. There you go. All right.